Hello everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Well, it's really getting hot around here, about 92 degrees, and it just seemed perfect for barbecuing some chicken. I wanted to fire up the pellet grill and get some of these delicious uh, chicken thighs on. And I wanted to show you how I do it. It's really simple. And I found uh, five pounds of skin on, bone in <laughs> chicken thighs. And I'm going to make a simple uh, rub. We want to use coarse ground black pepper. And it really doesn't matter how much you put in because it's about that much. All you want to do is put in an equal amount of salt, the kosher salt. And so I've got about maybe a, an eighth of an inch of pepper down there. And so I want to try and just eyeball it and put in an equal amount of, of salt. So it's not that critical. And then just shake it up. And it should look like that. Now let's get into this chicken. Delicious, juicy, tender chicken thighs. And want to do a little bit of cleanup. Let me speed the video up and show you how I prep this. Just those large pieces of skin that, that hang way over. Just want to take those off. I hope things are going well in your world. Uh, food prices continue to climb. These were about the best bargain in the grocery store. So I wanted to go ahead and grab them before maybe they're hard to find. I don't know the way they're talking. Even chicken might be hard to find. So you clean this up. Want to expose the meat side. There's a meat side and a skin side. And then you get the pepper, salt, rub and give it a nice generous application and then flip them over with the skin side up and I need to pull this skin over and cover it. It's like the security blanket for this chicken. It keeps it juicy and tender and put the, uh, the rub on this side as well. All right, now I want to start the pellet grill and I'm going to set the temperature for 210 degrees because I want to let it smoke. 210 degrees. We're going to let it smoke for about an hour. So in goes the chicken. Smoke for one hour at 210 degrees. Now my grill, it fluctuates and it'll go up to 220 and then down to 205. So while that's smoking, I want to put together a simple sauce or glaze, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to use some apple cider vinegar mixed in with my standard sweet baby rays barbecue sauce it just adds a little bit of a kick to this sauce a lot of times i'll just use the sweet baby rays all by itself but if you want something a little different you can try this about an ounce of uh, the apple cider vinegar to five ounces of the spicy uh, barbecue sauce give it a good shake mix it up and after an hour your temperature should be around 150 and then you want to put the barbecue sauce on or the glaze on and we're going to finish at 350 so I'm going to raise the temperature up to 350 and let these finish and it takes about 30 to 45 minutes you just kind of have to watch them and check the temperature so raise the temperature after about 30 minutes we'll give them a check and you want them to be at least 165 degrees, 165 to 175 degrees, and these are ready. So I'm gonna bring them in, and oh my, beautiful and delicious barbecued smoked chicken. Mmm, look at that. You should smell it. Absolutely wonderful mouth-watering chicken. In fact, let's have a bite. Look at that beautiful thigh. Mmm absolutely delicious. Well, that's how you make them. I appreciate you watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now. <music>